Follow me to Apex, my friends. Reaper Hunter 23 here, welcoming you to another Let's Play. This time, I seem to have run out of things that have piqued my interest on Steam, so we're gonna jump into something I'm a little more familiar with. I started playing this game when I was like, uh, I don't know, in second grade, and this has kind of been keeping on since then. Although I didn't play it, although. Basically, I would just play it on and off for every couple of years. I would come back to it. And then, like, about a little over a year ago, I came back to it and was actually, like... I forget what exactly I was... I forget what it was that was keeping me from actually progressing in the game. I don't remember. But by the time I came back last year, or, or yeah, a little over a year ago is when I started playing the game again. So many things had changed. I was like, whoa, this is interesting. So, yeah. Ah, what, what was I? Yeah, actually, it's way more interesting than I ever thought I would have been when I started playing it again. Basically, I started playing this again because I had just beaten Zelda. And I was like, and I was kind of like... I went on the, like, I just didn't play video games for like a week after I beat Zelda. I'm like, alright, give myself a little buffer before I jump into something new. So I just went back to this because I just kind of always played, would go back and screw around in this game in between doing things in other games. And then suddenly this game turned out to get really, really good. Eventually. So... It's probably the most niche thing I play. But yeah, I was like super taken with it by the time I did the, all the things. Like, there are th you just said that there are three books there. I had only ever done book one stuff up to the point that I started playing at last year. So, uh, here it was bored. Nice. So, yeah. And I just did all the other stuff very gradually, while keeping up with the newer stuff now, too. There's like weekly updates every week. I really like this game. <laughs> Way more than I ever thought I would. It had its moments here and there that were like made me go, ooh, as a kid, but... And now as an adult, I still go, oh man, this is awesome. It's the perfect day for adventure. Great things are coming my way, I can just feel it. This game is probably also a one of the uh, one of the earliest instances I can think of of something incubating my love for puns. So, yeah, a dragon. I thought level one characters were supposed to start off fighting rats or something easy. You know what's funny is you can eventually come back and do this quest when you're like level whatever, and it will still say that. You could level cap and I think it would still say that. Here it comes, the dragon is about to attack. Time to test my skills as a rogue. <laughs> Hiya's. Oh, Twilly. Priestess, the path is clear. Whoops. Set it backwards. Please pardon us, friend. We are just passing through. On a dragon? Hmm. I really should just eat this adventurer now. It would save me a lot of trouble in 30 or so levels. Grr, but you did make me promise. See you in about 30 levels. Ha ha ha. What was that all about? Do I at least get experience points for sitting through this? Oh yeah, back when I first started playing this game, you know, in 2006, being self-aware was still, a like, game being self-referential and self-aware was kind of a novel concept. That was kind of cool to do that. They just pull it off in a way that I enjoy, or I still manage to enjoy. 
Oh, who put this carpet in the middle of the forest? Oh no, that's not a carpet, priestess. It's a gorilla faint. Rawr. I will protect you. Pow. Oh, and one of my favorite things as the game got further along in its life cycle was that they started adding really, really good music. Offer to help, or there's only one choice here. Hmm? Oof. You're the meanest player ever. Seriously, he was so cute. At least you hit the gorilla fent in the face. Oh no, you made it even more mad. Better qu be quick and attack while it's dazed. Alright, so the early goings of the gameplay can be a little rough, since you don't have much to do. But... It's like that with like Final Fantasy and stuff, where all you can do is just normally attack. And you level up pretty quick early on. You level up in quick enough succession to get enough skills to make it interesting soon enough. Thank you for saving me, Brave Rogue. May I know the name of my hero? But you already said his name was Hunter, and he's the one who is destined to... What now? Why do you know my name? Twilly. Alas, we are out of time, good rogue. I ha must ask an important favor of thee. <laughs> Would you please let Captain Roloth know we are taking the shortcut? He's just ahead in Oaklore Keep. And I'm certain we will cross paths again. Especially since he is going to take that black dragon box and... D Twilly. And what are we going to do with the black dragon box? Well, I doubt my day can get any stranger than this. I should go to the keep and deliver that message to Roloth. Ta-da! Your origins are a mystery, but your legend begins here in the forest of Oaklore. Alright, I should probably full screen this. go ahead and do that. Since I'm capturing, like, from my browser, I should... I hope I didn't, like, screw it up. I don't know how that will come across, like, in the video. Alright, Roloth. What's up? The Priestess's message. I usually don't play on full screen, so this is kind of weird. I'm also gonna have to- I will periodically be checking the timer on Audacity to see how long I've been recording. You saw the princess on your way here? Why did you not tell me sooner? And she isn't going to stop here? Panics. The forest's crawling with bandits that are looking for her. She's in grave danger. We must go after her. It's hero time. <laughs> yes, it is. Give the... no. Uh, Lady Celestia. Hunter, we must protect the, the, the black dragon box at all costs. Ethan, she didn't tell us our name. Did you just... whatever. Or, she didn't tell us her name. I don't know what you are doing, or... I don't know who you are or why you want the box, but you better. My name is Dracketh. I am the leader of the Dark Wolf Bandits, and rightful leader of this land. That box is a good key to my throne, and there is no way I'm letting a peasant like you keep it from me. Stand down, or like the trash you are, you will be blown away by the winds of my great destiny. Oh man, the pomp on this dude is something fierce. You talk, you talk big, but you don't look so tough. I was just going to take the box and leave, but you just made it personal, pal. Let's see what you've got. Battle. Something interesting is that I typically, when I can create my own character, I like to be able to make more than... I like to be able to build their personality a little more than this game allows you to, but this game actually hits the... Uh, Act, the personality that they give your main character is good enough for me not to complain. Like, 
Like, they have reactions that I... Sometimes I have the same reaction just before I read the text. Oh, no. Oof. That was lucky. Alrighty. Ta-da! Level 3. Impossible. You got lucky this time, rogue. Snort. Ooh, box. Sneevels are funny little creatures. Luck had nothing to do with it. And my name is Hunter. Remember it? You see, amongst the people I know, I have one of the coolest names. But in fantasy land, it seems rather pedestrian. Oh, I will, and you can count on that. Lady Celestia, I'm glad that I got to you in time. Thank you, I am grateful for the rescue. Alas, the box was taken by a Sneevel while you were busy smack talking. Why didn't you say so, then? What? Why didn't you say something? Well, you were really on a roll, and I didn't want to interrupt you. Uh, can't argue with that. You must recover the Black Dragon box before it falls into the wrong hands. Travel to the town of Falcon Reach and meet with Twilly. He has friends who will be able to help you find that Sneevel. Alright, I have to travel to Falcon Reach, but what about you? Well, if you're going after the box with Twilly, then I'm going to teleport back home and have some tea. Thank you. Bye. What's so important about that? What's in the box? Save Lady Celestia and defeated the Dark Wolf leader, Dracheth? Or Dracheth? I don't really know. I spent my whole life thinking that you pronounce it Erdix, and then I heard them say it out loud one time, and it was Ardix. I'm still probably going to say Erdix most of the time I refer to him. The Black Dragon Boss was stolen by a Sneevel. Now you must head to the town of Falcon Reach and speak with Twilly. Alright, unfortunately there is a monster between here and the, uh, here, we'll talk to him real quick. He'll tell us about it. Falcon Reach is just over the bridge if you follow the path east. Beware of the giant sea serpent which has been attacking travelers. That dude's a pain. Let me tell you, jumping, going right at him would spell doom. So we're gonna do a quest or two. Let's see here. <laughs> Sir Loin, Survivor. Sir Supernatural, Supernatural, Surprise, Sir Jun, Sir Valance, or Valence, and pa Pactogonal Fastic. Yeah. So, he doesn't actually give you the quest for those guys. Yeah. Knights of the Pactagonal Table. They said that the table, shaped like Pac Man, because it's one of the most important shapes. I love this game. <laughs> Also, all those puns. Alright, let's see here. Do you believe in good- Ah, hold on. I've got a weapon that I've got my eyes on. It would be like level 5 to get, if I recall. And then, do you believe in ghosts? Spirits in the living, sort of, but not really dead? They are real, I have proof. Sarcophagus. Was one of our greatest weapon masters. He had a huge weapon collection. He loved all of the weapons all of his weapons so much that he took them with him to the grave. Oh, Supernatural is the one talking about this, of course. Also, it is said that Sarcophagus rises from his eternal slumber to challenge adventurers who visit his tomb. And if you beat him, he will give you a weapon from his collection. Do you want to go? Yeah, bring it on. Alright, Sarcophagus. So, I won't bother doing all of the quests around here, because most of them are just random little buffer filler things to help you level up. And, as I said earlier, the early game gameplay is probably not the most interesting thing to watch. It's not even really the most interesting thing to play early on. But if you stick with it, it does become pretty cool. Well, it's not revolutionary by any means, but... 
you start to get a lot of options with a solid few skills that you can really rely on. And there's other, and there's like, there's like a million classes in this game too. Now, because of the nature of how you have to level some of them up, I don't really stray too far from... I only really went through and leveled up the Soul Weaver. Just wait till we get to those guys. Besides the Rogue and the Rogue upgrade that you get later. But there are like, there are dozens of other classes that are probably super great. There, yeah, there are people who are far better at this game than I am if you were ever interested in looking that up. So something for the life of me that I find it fundamentally bizarre. My character that I already pulled, my, my level 30 character that you saw, like, in the menu before I went and made my own, made my character here, uh, he has longer hair than the one that, he had longer hair than any of the options that they were giving me. Kinda bugs me that I'm gonna have to go and get this change. towards Falcon Reach, since I guess we need to go there. So let's open this treasure box. Drayden fish zombie. Also, because there's so much of this game to cover, chances are I will not, I will be taking breaks with other games in between it. Like, uh, there's, there's, like, quest chains and stuff to do. So once I hit, like, a solid stopping point, like, once I finish up, like, quest chain X, I'll probably go on to a different game for a while or just take a break, depending on what I feel like doing. It all depends. Oh, potions. Okay, hold on. I hope they will, uh... Alright, refill. Nice. Alright. Cool. I'm not used to the numbers being so low. It's weird. Like, my, uh, my level 30 character has a over a thousand HP now, so it's super weird to only have 160. Also, his best attacks dish out like nearly a hundred damage. I like that its attack is like a squirrel ghost. Also, there are a lot of funny there most of the enemies in this game, their names are jokes. Deadwood, for example. Oh snap, if I'm still doing this in October, there's like a million things to do for the seasonal stuff. For the sake of it being easier, I might switch to my other character to do that. For the sake of it being easier, I could just switch to my other character to do most of this. I feel like that wouldn't be quite as fun though, even though I'm pro <laughs> Eventually we're gonna hit a point where I'm pretty much playing the same thing. Cause... I had a warrior character at one point, but I wasn't really feeling him. So I started over with- alright, level 5. That is what we need. It's also absolutely peachy that you get healed on the spot every time you level up. Spirit. 
smoke is nice because it, uh, do I not have a stomach? Oh, there it is. All right, smoke is nice because it just ups your evasion. It's really good for like, uh, it ups your evasion or it will reduce the damage that you take. Like, like if I hadn't blocked that, that probably would have been eight attack or eight damage. But it's really nice for wow. Letting me down here. Usually he dodges at least one of them. Anyway. Uh what was I saying? It's really nice for when you're dealing with multiple enemies because later you get a daze, which is great for fighting uh just one thing, because unless they're a boss that typically will be immune to stun effects. But Actually being dazed, or having more than one thing to deal with. Ooh, that fountain appears gentle. Drinking from the fountain <laughs> heals you. Alrighty. But more than one enemy, you can't daze them. So, making yourself just harder to hit is the better option there. God. Wow, I'm stupid sometimes taking... Take the, I took the most roundabout way to explain a very basic strategy. I was just curious what the thing's weaknesses were. Uh, I can't really do anything about that right now, but eventually. See, I'm not even going to need to, well, unless I'm short on money or something, when it comes to buying the weapon I want. I'm not even going to need to uh, do another quest from this area because of the uh, lack of interesting things that happen in the gameplay at the moment. I'm going to try and keep it more to, I'm going to try and keep on the story-driven track for a little bit. Because while the story isn't exactly revolutionary either, it is still amusing at least, and then it gets really good later. 